everybody, isn't it? <laughs> yes. I think we did not, you know, we'd have to ask that deal. I think uh, some people say four, I'd say six, so we'll go with five. It was 41 years ago. No, <laughs> <laughs> no. Come on, for me, it was like four days. So, so what's a really funny, you know, tell us a funny story or something happened. I know it was hotter than hell, but. A funny story? Funny story. I <laughs> can't tell you that. One. <laughs> that was this time. That, I can't tell you that one. <laughs> uh, funny story. Yes, you can. Christ, I, you know the funniest time. That my first day on the set, and you'll see this. But the first guy I met who I talked to said, "Now I just got out of town. I think I, I think we, I got picked up at the airport. I said, we're gonna. I gotta. I gotta get there. <laughs> so I didn't get to go." To the apartment, you know, I was like, okay. Oh, here we are. <laughs> and we were and, and we were shooting at this abandoned house. And uh, Paul Partain, who played Frank on the guy in the wheelchair, was sitting in his wheelchair behind his gigantic white Cadillac convertible red leather interior and big pins like that. You know, 66 or 67, you know. He was a fucking trip, and he's got a trunk popped up. He's got this huge cooler, so I'll open Budweiser and open call. And he's got these like lawn chair, like folding lawn furniture all sitting around. Him. Like in the semicircle, he's sitting there rolling over, he's sitting with it. And I sit down, get still something to drink with him. I don't care. I just got off the plane at 7 o'clock in the morning, but I don't care. And, uh, that was the, just watching Paul, I don't know, funny? Watching Paul Partain work to me was one of the funniest, some of the vicious things I've ever seen. Because everybody hated him. They were so pissed off because they thought he was such an asshole. But he wasn't. He was the sweetest, most gentle guy on me. But he was a great actor. And everybody, by that point, they'd been, by the time I got there, they'd been working with him for like two weeks in a band with like eight people. Not just the cast, but like the camera guy, the director, of sound guy, and a grip. <laughs> oh, God. The windows rolled up, driving up and down old roads and texts and stuff. The funniest thing to me really was watching Paul work and watching the dynamic between the rest of the cast and Paul, I guess. I, I can't think of any one incident that you asked me that. It's me. Really you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I can't think of one thing, but but he to me was the high point really of that of the early part of that was watching the ball. Anybody else? Yeah. Uh, what scene demanded the most takes? What scene? What scene demanded the most takes? That was the dinner party scene. Absolutely, we, we shot. I in fact I, I was in the makeup chair. For that day, five and a half hours, and we shot for like 27. Wow. It was horrifying. And, and, but you'll see when you see this, and we, he covered that every angle you know, could possibly cover. And a lot of it never made it up there, but he, he and he, it, it wasn't just about the, the coverage. He also was pushing his actors to the point where he, he, he needed a feeling. You know, so he kept resetting, resetting it. Yeah, and but he 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 traditionally told me shoots far more than he probably needs to. Um, the ideas that you created for any person scene were there any scenes where you were like wanted to throw up? I mean, I know there's a lot, but wanted to throw up. Most disgusting. I wanted to puke a lot. But it was, it, was a, it, was a whole, it was miserable, physically. It was a very uncomfortable shoot. And for uh, for Gunnar and myself, particularly because we had this, I had rubber makeup on, and uh, Gunn had a, a full rubber mask on, like that mask, that was so complicated to put on, they would only let him take it off if there was going to be like more than a 15 minute break or something. It took so long to put it back on. To me, I was just there. I was making it was glued to my face, so I couldn't. Uh, uh, 
and, and the smell was really, really awful. Because we had meat on the table. It was, oh, and that was like just kind of festering. And then there was like animal skins and, and feathers and human bones and animal bones. It was actually human bones and animal bones. <laughs> and it was a hundred and probably in the in the in the in the, uh, uh, the home, it was probably a hundred close to hundred and twenty degrees. <laughs> because they had all the ones closed and blacked out as we were shooting around the clock. And then there was probably there was like a fiber or a five K loose. So it was about 10,000, a bunch of inkies and dinkies, that sort of thing. So it was probably about 10,000 watts of light blast on it. And no ventilation. So it was really, really, really awesome. And all the people smelled. <laughs> no, really, the whole crew stuff, the actors stuff. Gunner. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, and I said, well, I've been floating on this, but it, I've never smelled B.O. like that in my life. <laughs> It wasn't human. It was like Martian B.O. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, what the fuck? Oh, hey, God. You know? Hey, how you doing, bud? Just really, really bad. And, and people would go outside and vomit. You know? Was that what was that, right? Am I just like that? <laughs> Good. Uh, I am. Okay. All right, anybody else? Mike. So that was... Before latex, so you guys actually everything was made out of rubber. That was liquid latex I was wearing. It was before oh, okay. polymer latex. Okay. Okay. And yeah. I, so I was right at the transition. I might have been. I, I may be the last person ever had to wear that crap. It was awful. Because it also smelled. You know, you get around your crap. Terrible odor to it. And uh, it's just it was depressing. It was just awful. It's she and hot. I tell you, I enjoyed at the Belfort. Watching you, watching the movie, because every time Franklin was on screen, you were busted out I know. laughing. It was great. <laughs> well, the film, I've always seen the film as a comedy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. I think it's hysterical. <laughs> and I hope I didn't ruin it for you by saying that. Mm -hmm. yeah. but, but I was there, and those are all friends of mine, and we were making a fucking movie. And look what we did. 41 years later, I'm sitting there talking about it. We were a bunch of kids making a goddamn movie. Look at this. Yeah, I didn't want to laugh at it. It's funnier than shit. You want to listen to me. Yeah. You know? What the fuck? I mean, yeah. And you're all like, you know? <laughs> 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 awesome. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, y'all ready to watch the Texas Chainsaw? Yeah. <